I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking with Donna McNeil, who is one of two Teachers of the Year from the, Sac from the Elk Grove Unified School District. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us uh, where you teach and what you teach. Okay. Well, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Um, I teach at Catherine Albiani Middle School in the Elk Grove Unified School District. Mm -hmm. um, last year, I completed my first year at Catherine Albiani. I taught at T.R. Smedberg Middle School for 13 years. Mm -hmm. Um, I teach history, reading, and um, the majority of my time is activities director where I work in many facets. So what does an activities director do? Well, um, we are basically the social director of a middle school, but um, we do dances, assemblies, rallies, um, incentive programs, but I like to take it and think my job is a little bit more serious than dances and rallies. Um, but we are um, the persons that are out there creating the culture and the climate so our school, um, for our schools so our kids feel safe, our um, teachers feel supportive, our administrators feel supported. Um, just creating that culture environment where kids love to come to school and um, have something to celebrate. So it's, it's, it's a lot like teaching leadership. It's kind of the same thing. Yes. I teach a leadership class that is an elective I also teach so I get to mold and shape these students that want to give back to their school um, and want to create um, exciting um, programs at school and so I get to meet them every day and we get to plan and brainstorm and say how can we you know engage your your friends at school what do they want to happen what kind of incentives do we need to make happen at campus so they'll get their grades up or what should we do just to give back to the students they're doing great mm -hmm. in the classroom um, they're making good choices. What should we do for them? So we brainstorm and, and come up with lots of great ways and work with our community to um, reward students for um, making good choices. So why explain why it's so important to teach leadership. Mm -hmm. Well, um, studies find that students that are connected to school, um, they come to school more often. They do better academically. Um, teachers, uh, they behave better in classes. So I think teaching students leadership um, it, it's, it's in them, but they don't really quite know it yet. Um, but cultivating that desire, that seed that's down deep inside and how they can be a leader and their concept of leadership is not really understanding that being a leader is serving your campus and doing things that are helping others. So their form of leadership is a little different, you know, like everybody follows them, but give them a purpose to follow. So I think teaching leadership is, is great and middle school is the perfect time because they're still impressionable. They don't know quite know everything yet or think they know <laughs> quite, you know, everything like high school students yeah. make, yeah. So uh, what kind of progression do you see in a student in a leadership class from day one until the final day? Well, that is that is great because a lot of times students think a leader should be somebody that's outgoing or outspoken or not shy, but I have found that the best leaders that I have are the students that are maybe shy, but they're diligent, mm -hmm. they're hardworking, um, and um, they may be shy. And at the progression over that year is you see them blossom, like a little flower. They blossom, they come out, and at the beginning of the year, they would not stand up and say a speech, but by the end of the year, they're directing, they're in charge of their committee, they're telling kids what to do, how to set up for things. It is just, or their parents will be like, I never thought my kid would ever get on stage and talk, and here they are. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just opening up a platform or an, or an opportunity for kids to be like, this is a safe place. I can learn to grow. I can do this. You know, within nine months, I can do this. So I think it's really important to build that or to, for them to find that desire. And then some kids, they do try the program. They're like, yeah, this is just not for me. You know, mm -hmm. you're not... There's not every story is a success right. in there too. So. But you're teaching, you know, helping with the confidence. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So now you teach uh, reading and history and a few other things too. Um, at Albiani, I teach reading and history. Mm -hmm. um, at I did at Smedberg teach yearbook too, which was really fun too. Another way of um, being a middle schooler and a able to publish your own book when you're 12 years old, that's pretty exciting, you know, stuff to do. So that's yeah, a big step. Mm -hmm. it is great. So uh, how many years have you taught now? Um, I'm going into my 17th year of teaching. Okay. What so. kind of changes have you seen uh, over that time? That's, you know, that's a, that's a long time. Yes, it, it is a long time. <laughs> um, I've seen many changes. Um, when I first moved to um, California, I came here from Ohio. I first ta taught in Ohio. Um, education had lots of funding, lots of money. Oh, you're a teacher from the Midwest. You know, they, I mean, lots of, it was not hard to find a job um, in California. So to um, come now where you know we we are 
in a, in a time where struggling for finances and support and teachers being pink slipped or a shortage um, of jobs, I think it is, has evolved a lot. Um, I think students are the same. Um, I think the needs are the same, except there are, um, the need is bigger for students. Um, the main thing right now in education I think that's changed so much for me personally is social media is huge in my middle school. I think you know, social media when I was in middle school and think of all the problems that I had to deal with middle school and now they deal with those same things plus social media. Mm -hmm. I think it's huge. It's, that's like the biggest, mm -hmm. I think, challenge for parents and teachers is that. Well, and another challenge that's new now is uh, the Common Core. Yes, and, Common Core. And, and making that work. What are your thoughts? Well, I feel very confident in transitioning. Um, I think um, my, my administrator at my school, I think Elk Grove Unified District, is doing a great job preparing us. We've already, from years in, you know, last year and the year before, preparing us for this transition. So I don't think um, the exciting thing is the teachers that I teach with they're doing a lot of things right already that are in the common core spectrum. I mean, so um, that's encouraging that I'm with a, a team of teachers that are, are um, doing, doing it right and already in that process. So um, I think it's exciting. I think um, any way we can change and learn and better our teaching ability, I think it's a great opportunity for us. Opportunity and a challenge at the and same challenge, time. It's going to be challenging to transition our curriculum, but like I said, I think a lot of teachers out there are already doing great things that are in line with core um, standards and core curriculum. So I think it's a good thing. Because it's not just, here's the answer, it's here's the answer, here's how I got it, let's talk about it. Right, and a, and a lot of us, um, even though we do standardized testing, we assess our students in many ways, and one of that is writing. If you truly want to know how your student um, is comprehending and knowing what you're talking about, it's through writing, and, mm -hmm. and, and that is huge in um, core curriculum, and I think that that's exciting, because you and I both know when we get out in the real world, we have to do writing, we have to express ourselves and um, defend our answers or defend our opinions. So mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing that yeah. we're moving that way. So why did you become a teacher? What, what brought you to the profession? Well, um, I wish I could stand before you and say there's all these teachers that inspire me, which there were teachers that inspired me. But I remember being in high school, um, looking to teachers for the answers and, and trying to connect with them, and they didn't. They didn't see the opportunity of connecting with students. Um, fortunately, I had a family that was very supportive. Um, neither one of my parents went to college as a teacher. I mean, a college period, so they, you know, college was not an option. You're, you are going to college. Whatever you want to do, you are going to college. So they were very supportive in me, and I told them, I go, I, I want to teach. I, um, that's what I want to do. I want to get up every morning and have an opportunity to inspire students and uh, I get to do that I have the best job. So what motivates you? My students. Um, definitely um, edu education is not boring. It can be fun. Learning is fun. Um, middle school kids never and every day is different. There's never the same day, never a dull day um, and so who knows what could come. So my students inspire me. They. Um, I learned from them greatly. And also um, the team of teachers that I teach with, whether it was at Smedberg or Albiani, I'm very fortunate to be able to teach with a group of teachers that are good at what they do. Well, not good, great at what they do. So, so what would you say to someone who's thinking about being a teacher? Give us your sales pitch. Okay. Um, if you don't want to work hard, don't be a teacher. But if you want a job that's rewarding and fulfilling and um, immediate, gratification you know be a teacher it's a, it's a great it's a great job and um, you um, get to start over every year okay how can I better this I mean not very many jobs out there where you get to start over and say okay I'm gonna do it better than I did last year and um, yeah it's that's what I would say if you don't want to work hard don't do it but if you want to be fulfilled you know um, I think if you find something that makes you happy and if you find something that you're good at and if you find something that fulfills you and inspires you and you like doing, I think you should do it. So that's so, what I do with teaching. And finally, so. what, what are your thoughts on being a teacher of the year? Um, I'm very humbled. I would have never thought I, I sat here. Like I said, I know many teachers that should be sitting here. So I'm very shocked, when, but I'm very honored and I'm privileged and um, take great responsibility with that. Mm. So. Well, congratulations Thank to you. you. We appreciate you joining us. We've been speaking with Donna McNeil who is one of two Teachers of the Year from the Elk Grove Unified School yes. District. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much.